Hey guys, I'm Nisha Homi. Today I'm sharing a super crispy millet dosha recipe made without rice or rice flour. This nutrient rich millet dosha can be enjoyed as a healthy breakfast by the whole family. So let's get started with the recipe. Into a bowl, I'm adding in one cup of sama rice. Sama rice is also known as little millet. Sama rice or chama rice is a highly nutritious millet and it is completely gluten free. Add in 1 fourth cup urad dal, 1 teaspoon methi seeds also known as fenugreek seeds. Add in some water. Wash and rinse the millets and dal a couple of times or until the water runs clear. Once rinsed, add in some more water and allow it to soak for at least 6 hours. Soaking for a longer period will help to release the phytic acid content in the millet which will help in better nutrient absorption and also in easy digestion. So try to soak millets a little longer than you would normally soak rice. At least six hours of soaking is ideal. Also note that millets when locally sourced may contain sand, dirt or dust particles. So always rinse it thoroughly. So I'm going to soak it for about seven to eight hours. After about seven to eight hours, the millet and dal are nicely soaked. I'm going to rinse it once more and then add it into my blender jar. I'm adding the soaked ingredients into the blender jar. Add in three fourth cup water, pink Himalayan salt as needed. Add in two tablespoon little millet flakes. Millet flakes are also known as millet poha. So this is little millet poha or flattened little millet and now I'm going to blend this until everything is nicely mixed and blended and it becomes a dosha batter consistency. Pour the blended little millet batter into a bowl or a container and with my hand I'm mixing the batter. I'm squishing and mixing the batter like this for about 15 to 20 times. This is highly important as it will help in easy fermentation of the batter. So try not to skip this. Once nicely mixed with hand, cover it with the lid and allow it to ferment overnight or for about 8 to 12 hours. Fermentation times will depend upon the climate of the place you are living in. If you are living in a cold place, you may need longer fermentation time. Note that I am not using a tight lid. We need wild airborne yeast to help with the fermentation process. So do not use a tight lid. The next day morning, the batter has risen well and is nicely fermented. You can see how perfectly the batter has fermented. It is airy and perfectly fermented. The best thing about this batter is that it will stay good in the refrigerator for about 3 to 4 days. And now this millet dosha batter is ready. To make crispy millet dosha, I am heating my cast iron tawa and I am lightly greasing it with wood pressed gin chili oil also known as sesame oil or till oil. Once the tawa is heated, reduce the flame to the lowest and pour in one ladle full of the little millet dosha batter and spread it out as thinly as possible into a round dosha. Drizzle in a little bit of wood pressed sesame oil or you can use etu desi ghee instead. Cover it with the lid and allow it to roast and cook on low flame. One to one and a half minutes later, open the lid, carefully roll the dosha and serve. You can see how super crispy the dosha is. Transfer the crispy millet dosha onto a plate and serve it with sambar or any chutney of your choice. And my super healthy crispy millet dosha is ready to serve. So guys, do try this healthy millet dosha and uh, let me know how it turned out. Thank you for watching and until next time, take care. Bye-bye.